Okay, so um, ahead of the Oxford Moth Project in June, um, I've been learning how to construct a moth trap, and uh, I'm just going to take you through the basic components. So, um, so the base of the trap it consists of a box filled with egg cartons, as you can see here. So um, this provides the roosting material for the moths, and the moths are filtered down, and they stay in here, and then this is empty during the day, and we can see what moths we have, we've caught overnight. So on top of this, this box, we put, we put the lid, and this is darkened so that the moths can't see the daylight. We've got this black cloth here. And then on top of this, we place the funnel. And the funnel, basically, the, uh, the actinic bulb sits in this funnel. And that provides the components. So here we have the light. So I'm just going to switch this on. Back here. There it is. Here you go. Now this sits in here. And what happens, basically, is the moths are attracted in by the light. And they fly into it, hit the bulb, filter down into the funnel, and drop. And then, and then are trapped inside the box and roost in the egg cartons. And then when we come empty the trap, they'll be in the egg cartons in the day. And then finally, we have this plastic Windex sheet. And this acts as a rain shield. So we're leaving these out overnight. And if it happens to rain, then this will protect the trap and stop the bulb from being broken by the, ra broken by the rain. And so, yeah, there you have it. There's your moth trap. Uh, look forward to using these in June and actually catching some moths rather than uh, in the freezing cold in January.